What's up guys, it's Ashley Bornanson here in Hollywood. Tonight we are chatting it up with the stars of the biggest action-packed remake film of the year, RoboCop. We cover all things entertainment from red carpets to movie premieres. Do you really? <laughs> wow. That's, ex that's a, so it's exciting. Yeah. You like your job? I love my job. Yeah. I love talking to actors. I love film. You look really good for the job. Really? Aren't you on camera? <laughs> I'm kind of on camera, a little bit of both. Okay. All right. So fire away. All right. So what was your favorite part about working on the movie? What was my favorite part about? Working on the movie. Uh, actually, I was not in the movie. I did the series. Robocop. I played Robocop in the series. Yeah, I wasn't in I was in the film. I was shooting another film at the time. But I'm looking forward to seeing this film. How did this compare? How do you think it's gonna compare to the series? Oh, it'll be night and day. I mean, uh, besides just the obvious uh, great talent and all the people around it, though we had great talent, you've got more a lot more funding. <laughs> and they're telling a whole, whole new story from the beginning, so it's probably gonna be uh, Amazing. I mean, I feel like a fan just walking in and saying, "Wow, I'm here, Robocop again." Yeah. Did you give Joel any advice? I mean, you had to put on an intense. Uh, uh, you know, I, I never got a chance to speak to Joel about it, and he certainly didn't inquire. Maybe maybe he talked to Peter Weller or something. But we we both wore really uh, Peter Weller suits in the series back then, so. So this is a whole new different look, but I think the main thing you'd have to, I'm sure he did very well, which is you have to convey some sort of emotion through a suit. And that's what every guy, Batman, Iron Man, you have to convey something through that that says somebody's feeling something underneath it. So that's his job. What did you learn from being in the series of RoboCop? Uh, what did I learn? That's a really good question. I think uh, playing a... Uh, Iconic role is uh, really hard work. Uh, sometimes you feel like this is really weird. Doesn't feel like feel silly, and then you really see the fans and you see everybody coming out for it. And you go, oh, idiot! They like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You kind of because there's only you talking to you in this mask. <laughs> Conversations with yourself. Now you could probably you know sit there and do texting, but we didn't do texting yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Do you think, now that the movie's coming out, it's such a modern age right now. Yeah. You know, it's 2014. When, when the original movie came out, it was 1987. Your series was what year? Uh, a few years later, about 1994, 5. Yeah. Okay, so times have really changed, even from the 90s till yeah. now. Do you think this is going to be more relatable to the times now? I don't know, because I haven't seen the film, but I think it's relatable te technologically with the kind of CGI and the kind of work they're doing and in the computer. You know, I'm sure it's going to be very hip and very fast, where we were a little slower. Yeah. What kind of advice would you want to give to Joel about what's going to happen after RoboCop, like fans going crazy? Oh, he's going to, he's going to really be uh, mobbed a lot. This is going to probably make him, uh, I hope for him, and he's already a great actor and he's really made a great impression so far, but this will give him some pretty superstar status. Yeah, you know. He can probably uh, kick your little James Bond butt, you know. Yeah, yeah. You heard it from the original yeah. RoboCop. From Robo Host to RoboCop. <laughs> see you later. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm super stoked to see this film. When you see it, let me know what was your favorite part of the film. Leave me a comment below and like, subscribe. I'll see you later.